They don't deserve to be leaders. Sheikh Al Uthaymin, Rahimahullah. We respect Sheikh Al Uthaymin and we love him. And this is the kalam of Ibn Baz, Rahimahullah. Most of the leaders of today, they don't deserve to be leaders. Why? They're killing the whole nations. The mutual rivalry diverts you. Man are building this dunya so much, they're even building the seas, the, the oceans. They're tired of the dunya now, the land they're building in the oceans now. And then we, instead of spending our money wisely, we go invest in the oceans. Can you imagine Muslims are investing in the oceans? Can you imagine Muslims with sense and aql and brains? They claim they're from England. They claim they're from a nation that is full of might and power. They are so clever. They are investing in oceans now. Buying a whole plot of land in the ocean. Whenever the Fawahish comes, Rabbul Alameen will destroy the whole land. <coughs> Fawahish. Fawahish means corruption, alcohol, fornication, dancing, casinos, gambling. That's what you find in these lands that you're going to invest in. So the mutual rivalry has no ending. Wallahi, there's no boundaries to the mutual rivalry. There's no mutual, there's no boundaries. Wallahi, there's no limits. Until what? You visit the grave. Hatta zurtumul maqabir. So when you visit the grave, that's only when you decide, you know what? This root, this, this, this rivalry is up now. And then the mankind, the kafir as well as the Muslim says, Oh Allah, take me back so I can do some good deeds. This man doesn't wish to do, to build more buildings. Wallah, he doesn't wish to come back and buy more cars. He only wants to do some good deeds. You have the time now. You have the opportunity now. Stop investing in places where the adab of Rabbul Alameen will come upon the nation, subhanAllah. Most of the Muslims, they're so clever. They're now investing in, in what? On the, in the oceans. Oh, it's a wise investment, 50%. So you're giving up the whole dunya, you're giving up everything only for this 50%. Rabbul Alameen says, You shall come to know. Kalla sawfa ta'lamoon. Thumma kalla sawfa ta'lamoon. A threat upon a threat. If you don't stop this piling up, then you will come to know. And then you will come to know. <laughs> Explaining the threat, you will come to see the fire. <laughs> you will see this fire with your eyes. You will come to know. Surely you will come to know a threat upon a threat. Latarawunal <laughs> Jahim. You will see the Jaheem. What's this Jaheem? This Jaheem, if this Jaheem was to make one breath, if this Jaheem was to make one nafas, one, one breath, every single angels of Rabbul Alameen and every single prophet will go into sujood. That's only one breath. If this Jaheem was to only take one nafas, one breath, not the whole of the fire, this Jaheem, this hellfire, if it was to make one breath, every single angel from the ones that is with Rabbul Alameen, every single prophet 
will go into sujood. That is the kalam of Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Every one of these will go into sujood. Today, we hear about the fire and it's like, what's this fire? Fire is not for me. Everyone is so confident fire is not for him. Everyone is so confident that you see me, <laughs> fire is not for me. We commit sins day and night and we say fire is not for me. The people come to Adam alayhi salam and they mention, Ya Adam, Rabbul Alamin created you with his hand and he made you to live in Jannah and he made you to eat from the fruit and he made the angels bow to you. And Ya Adam, and they mention beautiful qualities with Adam. Adam alayhi salam say to the people, Nafsi, Nafsi, Nahani an shajaratin. Rabbul Alamin prevented me from eating from this tree. Fa'asaitu, I disobeyed. Go find someone other than me. Only this tree, wallahi, one tree. Adam is afraid to go tell Rabbul Alameen, begin the hour. Ya Allah, begin the hour. Adam is afraid of this one. Fatalaqa Adam wa murabihi kalimatin fataba alai. Adam then lift his hand and say, oh Allah, forgive me, Rabbul Alameen, forgive him. And he is still afraid. Today we commit sins every single moment of our life. Wallahi, we are so... <laughs> Wallahi, we are so corrupt in our minds. I want to give you a good example of this masjid. We are still undecided whether we should have a video camera there or not. But guess what? We sit home and we watch naked skinned women and we watch men exposing their aura and it's like nothing. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that lack of sense or something? What's this? Are we more educated than Ibn Uthaymin and Ibn Baz who allow these videos for what? For da'wah. Millions of people watch these bayan. And we're still undecided. We sit home in our own home. We watch as we like a thousand channels, Sky News, every news. So we're so much into sins, but yet we don't say what? You know me, I'm good. <laughs> I'm going Jannah. I couldn't be touched by the fire. Says who? Wallahi, that's an illusion. We need to get it right. Rabbul Alameen will be so angry. The son of Adam piles up this wealth. He piles it up. He piles it up. And it becomes more and more and more. He, he doesn't even know how much he has. Because in every bank, he has an account. He doesn't even know. His accountant doesn't even know how much he has. How much do I have? Oh, I lost track of what's happening. So much. He doesn't even know. Rabbul Alameen says... The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says in a hadith regarding this al hakum takathur He says that the son of Adam on the day of Yom he, The son of Adam only says nafsi, ma, mali, 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 mali My wealth, my wealth, my wealth, mal, my wealth What is it that you benefit from your wealth except that which you eat and it goes, the rest goes to waste So even the things that you eat Most of it or some of it goes to what? Waste. And the clothing that you wear, and it wears out, it warms out, it becomes old. And the sadaqah that you put forward, and you get it with the hereafter. Only three things you benefit from, from your wealth. That which you eat, that which you eat, and then it, some of it goes to waste. And that which you wear clothing, and it wears out, it becomes old and decayed, and you have to bin it. And the sadaqah that you left forward for the projects, schools and masjid and programs. In another hadith, the Prophet says, 